The Russian invasion, I just why why is it having such an impact on this market uh, compared to other, you know, massive geopolitical events that didn't hit us like this? Yeah, I mean, look, we know, Charles, that the market doesn't like uncertainty, right? And, you know, when you get two pains on set like this, too much pain for America, <laughs> just for the record. Um, but, you know, I think what you're seeing here right now is you've got the uncertainty plus on top of that, the Fed is raising interest rates. And I think it's no surprise that who's getting hit the hardest here, what asset class, it's tech, it's growth, everything that's like kind of the anti higher interest rates trade. And I think that what's happening here in Eastern Europe is just exacerbating that. Longer term, let's say we, you know, we're, we're, we get a couple of rate hikes, uh, the Russia situation is resolved. Uh, do, do you stay, you're gonna stay with the, the, what you've been working with, the value, you were killing it on value. Uh, and also emerging markets, which have had some hiccups. You know, most of the things, I don't know, it's, you know, of course, China has held it back a lot, and these Chinese tech stocks got hammered this week. Yeah, they did, and a lot of that has to do with the regulatory issues sure. around them and the control of China. But I think you know, we have to look at here, Charles, is the American consumer is going to save all of us. Um, you know, you're getting into... Even with inflation, that where it is now? I'm, but you're seeing a very price-insensitive consumer. Look at retail sales, right? I think, look, you're in a point where the pandemic's become an endemic. People are going to get out regardless. They've got money to spend. The American household has a trillion dollars more today than it did before the pandemic. Wages are going higher. We've got like a $5 million wage or a employment gap, and there's 11 million jobs out there. Uh, how, I mean, yeah. would you buy uh, airlines? Would you buy these casino stocks? I mean, some of these names are really starting to take off in anticipation of what you just said. Yeah, I do. I do, because they've gotten hit recently. They're starting to spike a little bit. But I think, yes, I would allocate to all those places because people are going from buying goods to going out and buying leisure, hospitality. We're all going to go out. I'm out here in the studio today. Charles lifting up, you know, the economy is, or ratings at least. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know on Monday. Ryan, thank you so much.